channel, Second Attack RPG. Last time we left off, I pretty much went into the Hollow Crypt, and now we are off to face Loki and the other vampires. Is someone there? No, there isn't. That's an option. <laughs> Anyways, where was I? Oh, yeah. Okay. And if any of them survive, I'll let the storm match and not candle them. Do I have the embrace of shadows? No, I do not. Da 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 da, nothing is here. Get away from me. The scent has gone cold. Indeed it has. So what's the dealio with this thing? It's a oh my god! Okay, that's something. Now what? I just do this. Okay, that was pretty impressive. Seriously, it was. sent you here. Who were you expecting? 
I was expecting someone from my family. I don't recognize you. Are you one of my father's little acolytes? No, a group called the Dawn Guard sent me here. That's not a name I know. And it doesn't sound like a name a group of vampires would choose. How did you know I was a vampire? You think I can't tell my own kind? I smelled you almost before my eyes were open. No doubt the Dawn Guard will want me to terminate you. Don't think that'll keep them from turning on you eventually. They'll figure out what you are. Why were you locked away like this? That's... complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. Where do you need to go? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Any idea how to get out of here? Your guess is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. So, what's it like, your home? It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. Someone you don't want to see? My father and I don't really get along. Ugh, saying it out loud makes it sound so common. Little girl who doesn't get along with her father. Read that story a hundred times. Good question. Hard to say. I... I can't really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? I've never heard of him. Is he well supported? I don't know that name. You say she's Jarl of Solitude? Who supports her? Oh, wonderful. A war of succession. Good to know the world didn't get boring while I was gone. Who are the contenders? Empire? What... what empire? Cyrodiil is the seat of an empire? I must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. Resurrect these things. Please! Yes! Yes! Hey, that's my gargoyle! Stone skin? S did you really just call that thing stone skin? Ah, I got another one. I can use. This feels like the right way. I was starting to worry. Ah, it's so bloody dark. Okay, that's better. Well, 
Well, don't do it alone. What now? Good to breathe again. This weather is incredible. All right. Well, let's go. Castle Volkahar, so uh, I'm gonna edit this part out and see you guys later. And I'm back. Hmm. Um, this is the part where we usually get in the boat. You with me? Right. So, before we go in there... What is it? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think... I just need to be alone for a while. There's a lot of feelings wrapped up in this old place, and... I don't think you're quite ready for them. So let me take the lead in there. It's back. Open the gate! Lord Harkin's a great man. Best show him the proper respect.
How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned. I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, she I'm has delighted the scroll. to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her walk Hello there. before putting her head Do you need something? Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I'm Zack. I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. So long as I get rewarded, I care not. Perhaps you should. I count some of the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim among the members of my court. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. What happens now? You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach, and you will never fear death again. And if I refuse? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. <laughs> I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. Well, I'm already a vampire, so... Be still. At last. Good. The power is growing within you, and now you must learn to wield it. Huh. What happened? How did I get here? My blood is potent. At first the body is overwhelmed by it. After my bite, you collapsed and fell into a slumber. Now your flesh has acclimated to the new blood that courses through your veins. I assure you, no harm was done. In truth, your strength surprises me. Not all mortals can withstand my embrace. So what is this place? A shrine to Molag Bal, the mighty Daedra Prince who is father to all our kind. Our power is a blessing from him. It is he who first bestowed the gift of the ancient blood upon me. You made a pact with the guy? In an age long forgotten to history, I ruled as a mighty king. My domain was vast, my riches endless, and my power infinite. And yet, as my mortal life neared an end, I faced a seemingly invincible enemy. My own mortality. I pledged myself to Molag Ball, and in his name I sacrificed a thousand innocents. In reward, he gave everlasting life to myself, my wife, and my daughter. And so I have defeated mortality itself. 
All right, since I'm here, might as well learn what I can do. With my guidance, you will become a deadly instrument, striking terror into the hearts of mortals wherever you tread. Now listen to my words and do as I instruct. The true power of the ancient blood is found in the form of the Vampire Lord. Assume the mantle of the Vampire Lord, and we will continue. Transform into the Vampire In this form, you can drain the life from your foes with your right hand. With your left hand, you can wield the power of blood magic to raise the dead. You can also call upon the powers of night to turn into a swarm of bats and reappear some distance away. You can descend to the ground and fight as the beasts do. Do so now, and we will continue. Alright, alright, alright. Good. You are weaker while on the ground because you cannot access the blood magic. However, the night powers are still yours to command, and your claws are still formidable weapons. Over time, your powers will grow in strength, and you will find new ways to use your gifts. Promising. There is much to learn, but if you master the powers of the Vampire Lord, few enemies will be able to stand against you. What was that? <laughs> there is one last thing you must know. Slaying mortal men with your life drain grants you new night powers and blood magic. I keep a stable of thralls in the castle should you need to feed like the baser vampires to stave off the sun. That is all I have to teach you. If you wish to be reminded of these lessons, you need only ask. I have a task that will test your new powers. But first, do you have any questions? So, what's... Uh, so, why do I need to know about being one of y'all? As a vampire, you will gain new powers, but also a weakness to sunlight. With each passing day that you do not feed, that weakness will become more deadly, but your powers will also become stronger. Feed upon those who are sleeping, and your vulnerability to sunlight will diminish along with your powers. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Good. Go and speak to Garen Marethi. Tell him it is time. He will understand. Something? Well, well. Where have you been, Vingalmo? No stuck in a book all day? <laughs> Ortheof, I'm surprised. I didn't even think you knew what a book was, my brutish friend. You'll do well to watch that tongue, elf. And you do well to be more careful of who you Do you need something? Banter. Uh, hello? Hello there. Hey, how you doing? 
Ah, uh, hello? Hello there. Romthor, where is the last batch of alchemy ingredients I asked you for? Do you need uh, something? Yes, that there were hello there. Well, hey. I don't want to hear about it. I have a message from the chief. Lord Harkon. Yes, Spirit. Remember your place. Now, what is our Lord's wish? I don't know. He simply said it's time. Well, well. He wants the chalice, then. You've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? As in everybody? No. Don't try and impress me. It only leaves you looking foolish. The Chalice has been in Lord Harkon's possession for quite some time now. It is, when used properly, able to increase the potency of our powers. He has neglected using it for ages. If he wants it filled now, then grander things are afoot. This is good. Follow me. I'll take you to it. Lord Harkon has never cared to use the chalice, relying on his more than adequate powers until now. This is an intriguing change. Excuse us. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. The Chalice? Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkon's orders, Ortheolf. Calm yourself. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the Chalice. Really? Indeed. He's off to Redwater Den. Well then, best of luck to you. Then Galmo and Ortheolf are Harkon's primary advisors. I'm sure they're quite surprised to learn that you're taking the chalice. This thing? Looks pretty cool. And here we are. Now, this chalice needs to be filled directly from the blood spring that is the source of Redwater Den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Redwater Den has fallen into, well, let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them or force your way through. Hurry back. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting. He's had, um, I'm guessing he's had since the f our first era Hello there. to do this. Hello there. Can you feel it? You're now so much more than you were before. Time was I could barely hold my own in the Companions. Now I could slaughter them all without a second thought. And I'm not half the vampire Lord Harkon is. Truth is I'm better with a forge than I am with claws or fangs. You were with the Companions? Aye, I was. Didn't progress very far. Never did care for their attitude, acting like they're better than everyone else. But none of that matters now. Good day. Seems you're the court favorite. At least for the moment. New blood, eh? Let's get something very clear. I don't care about politics. You want to fight over the throne with the rest of them, go right ahead. I feed when I'm hungry, I sleep when I'm tired, and I kill whenever I'm in the mood. Those are the things that are important to me. Enjoy your hunt. Anyway, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And as always, I will see all of y'all in the next video.